Hey, pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Boric. As after the 7-5 loss, where the offense looked better, still a lot of defensive issues, of course, and goaltending issues in that game against the Avalanche. But the Flyers look to bounce back tonight against the New Jersey Devils. As always, a special thank you to those that have subscribed this far. Please continue to subscribe down below in the easy to use sub button. To keep showing your love and support. I really love and appreciate you all for it. But tonight, Seward's going to remain in. It looks like Connaughton's going to be the scratch, according to these projections here. And, of course, Ellis is out. Farabee is out with his shoulder, which is a very bad loss. And then Nate Thompson is out. Um, we have, though, expected tonight, uh, Derek Broussard is going to be in, which will be nice to see, as it's going to be Brass, Brown, McEwen, Frost on the third line with Giroux and Van Riemsdyk. Scott Lawton projected on the second line with Hayes, and Atkinson. That makes sense. Loss has been playing really well lately. Of course, got a shorthanded goal. It makes sense to reward him and move him up. And then Lindblom, Katori, and Konechny after having a hell of a game last game. TK having two assists. Lindblom getting his first goal is going to remain as the first line. I think the big thing is there was check boxes to build on, as I talked about in my key takeaways that I'll link at the end of this if you want to check that out. Video from the or the Colorado game, excuse me. You were able to get TK to have the two assists. He's been cold lately. Hayes looks like he's playing through something, which if he is, I'm not sure how wise that is, but he was able to have a couple apples. Limblum got on the board. Um, that line, that first line, finally really looked going and got churning. Um, you're going to have Drew in this one again back at center with JVR. That's probably to try to get JVR going at center with Frost, because Frost has been in confidence ways, but he has been solid overall, I think. And um, when he really does have that great shift, you just see it really bounce and go for the next like couple shifts he has. And then he has that like bad penalty like he had the other night. Or just makes a sloppy turnover. That's because he's still learning and growing in the two-way aspect. I like him on the wing, like on the Pirlo Wisdom Show. Check that out on Pirlo Wisdom's channel I was on today. We talked about it a little bit. But I think he will end up ultimately Morgan Frost playing center for this team. Because that's what he tried to develop him into a better two-way center, a better... Uh, stick checking and just anticipating on the defensive side like he's so good at doing on the offensive side center and I think with the lack of center depth here he will end up doing that at one point but he's on the wing with Giroux and Van Riemsdyk tonight <clears throat> and you're gonna have Kata Hot back in net tonight with Ivan Provorov back with Braun I think that's to try to get Provorov going again he's of course been with Risto Risto has been that good brute force defenseman never the guy that looks great analytically but he's a guy that uses his body well, like A.V. talked about when here, um, plays the game you want him to play. So I don't think he's the guy you can really use just the on the ice analytical stats for to go off of. You have to just kind of watch him and see if he plays his game within the game that you want him to play. And I think normally he checks that box. But Provorov has looked good this year and in the past with Braun. So I think with the way Braun's been having a better season, Provorov has not been having a good season this year. I think that's just a move to try to get Ivan Provorov going. Um, Yandel was sealer, again, like I talked about in my video I did on Kevin Connaughton that I'll also have linked at the end here if you want to check that out on us acquiring him. Um, that pairing doesn't necessarily make sense because Yandel's obviously a prone to make mistakes in his own zone. Sealer's a limited defensive defenseman. That's why he's a 6'7", and so is Connaughton. So it'll be interesting to see what they decide to do with the pairings there. Since Yo's, of course, already mixed up the lines a little bit, it'll be interesting to see what he decides to do with the defense going forward. But if the Flyers can play the offensive push pace and push game they played against the Colorado Avalanche, they have a very good chance in this game against New Jersey Devils because the New Jersey Devils are also sputtering. They're not playing that great of late, but they do got good offensive push players like the Dawson Mercers of the world, the Jesper Bratz, the Pavel Zakas, Nico Heeshears, uh, even uh, Andres Janssen, who's really been getting going there, and then Sharon Govis, who of course is in the Rookie of the Year race in his rookie season. So they got the talent to push the offense. You don't want to get into an offensive race with them either, so you want to be able to play a much tighter defensive game in front of your netminder, and you're going to need uh, your netminder to play a little bit better. Well, that was Jones' worst game in Philly last game, albeit the defense didn't play great in front of him. I think Hart will play a good game tonight. I think if the Flyers can push that offensive pace, they will be able to end the winning or end the losing streak um, against the New Jersey Devils and hopefully kind of get going in the winning direction. Where Yo, like Pirlo pointed out 
on his show earlier, has when he took over the Wild, had good starts, and when he took over the Blues, had good starts. So maybe the Flyers, we saw them moving in the right direction in some boxes last game, can keep doing that this game, but this time check off the box and getting in the win column, whether it's an ugly win or whether it's a very nice squeaky clean win, who cares? We just got to get in that win column. But everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has been a preview to the Philadelphia Flyers versus the New Jersey Devils. Stay safe out there, everybody. And as always, thank you for the love and support to my subscribers. And please continue to subscribe down below. And go Flyers. Let's get on the board again with those Ws.